Okay, so just to explain, we've removed all the shelving here. We're going to remove all the grade stakes and put those in a five gallon bucket back here. We are about to make the biggest improvement in the world ever. We have been planning, Dan and I have been figuring, frustrating, and frustrating. And, frustrating and trying to figure out how to do this. We're going to make a reel. We're going to build one. We could have easily ordered one, maybe Tractor Supply or Home Depot or Lowe's or some other store, but it didn't. none of them looked like what fits the need. We're going to build something wide enough so we can crank up probably five, 400, 500 feet of, of uh, electrical cord. Let the fun begin. Amen. The thing we've been trying to figure out is what we want for the real part. So we have we already had some scrap inch and a half. We had scrap four inch. We had to pick up reducers, four to three reducer. That's as small as they will reduce in one piece. So I had to get a, a bushing to go in there. We have to ream two of these out so that it, it will slide easily on the inch and a half pipe. So I think the first thing I'm going to do, hopefully not getting hurt, is reaming out these with a Forstner bit. Try to be safe. Might even wear eye protection. All right, look at that. Look at that beast. So, the, wow. What's the worst that could happen here? Slow and easy hopefully wins the race. Oh boy. That was better. All right. Bet that's hot. There, we reamed it out. It should work now. Oh. We've calculated the length that we need for the roller, the center part, is right there. Hopefully, we're right. Woo. Nothing like a 12 inch saw. Wow. I guess the best way to do it is just start gluing things. Hey. hey. I bet you can't get it. I would have done it. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you really? I you're struggling? I, I thought it was my wrist. No. Can't do it. We are going to start gluing things, whether it's right or wrong. Would you do tighten this up again, Dan? Yeah. I got it. Once you glue it, there's no return. As you notice, I'm not even priming it. Woo, that smells pretty good. Okay, this is, so four inch, schedule 40. It can be whatever. This is a four inch reducer, four inch to two inch. Then we've got to use a bushing to reduce down to inch and a half. Ugh. for the center pipe. So we want to turn this bushing around. It's designed to go this way so you can bring a pipe in, but we want it to go the other way, which is totally unconventional because we're going to send that inch and a half pipe up on the inside of the four inch pipe. If we only had a hammer, Dan could pound it barehanded, but I'm I'm going to use a hammer or a two-by-four. Where'd that come from? Somebody just, all of a sudden, it's there. Okay, yeah, I'm going to glue this first before we determine the pipe, the in interior pipe. All right.
That is perfect. Nice. Now we can fit that in there. I love that. We are building this as we go, figuring it out as we go. We're building it, obviously, as we go. Okay. Should be good <laughs> to glue that end on. Then we've created a cylinder. We were going to put plywood, make a round piece of plywood to fit each side for the uh, hose to bump up against. We came up, I think, with an easier idea. I don't know if it's better, it's easier. There'll be a bushing, there'll be a bushing on that end. The one that we reamed out, that'll be in here so that the oh, that pipe slides real well. I think we can determine the length now pretty close. And this will have a bushing in it. Let me put this on backwards. Let's go right about there. This part has the bushing in it. That will go against the wall into a hole that Dan's making. This will go through and we'll glue that so it catches into there and it fixes it really well. On this side, we reamed out a, a um, reducer. That'll go on here. So the reducer slides over that really well. So that gives it some freedom to spin. Plus we were able to get it in there. So next, I will glue. glue that bushing in. We have another fitting uh, four to two reducer. This will go in here and then it'll catch into that. So now I'm going to glue this one in. The last step will be to put the two pieces together. We still have to fit things in through the, the wood that Dan's creating for this. That went in there fine. This is going to be under the most tension because we're going to attach a crank to this, which will in turn attach to this, which will in turn will attach to all of that. Round one, I glued that, or actually this was an inch too short. Ta-da. So I wasted a four to three reducer and a bushing. Fortunately, we, we're going to make two of them. So, well, we won't make two now, but we'll uh, glue up enough to get one working so we know that it's gonna work. That was the goal for today. Okay. Let's try that again. Dan's going to have his part done before I do. Yeah, because I can't put mine on until yours is done. Good thinking. In. I'm gluing it like it's just correct. Absolutely correct. Make sure I get the right one. I tried real hard to loosen this one up, but nope. Okay. That should be better. So these two pieces will be glued. These two pieces will be glued in place because this has to go in after it's sitting in the the holes that Dan created.
We needed to move this, so he's putting a new one there to support the bench. We're going to try a dry run. Very dry. I'm getting thirsty, by the way. I got my side. It looks like it can go completely under to the, to the, under the, under there, under there. Oh, my head. That's going to be right there. Huh. You got that? Let me try to spin it. Wow, how easy is that? It is spinning. So now we're going to attach, after he finally secures it, after... Is there any reason why that can't just stay there now? No. Well, actually, uh, probably. it might be good, gooder, mm, more gooder. to glue the, the that in now, so I can get glue back in uh -huh. here. Uh -huh. Then we'll piece this in. Uh -huh. You think yeah, if it'll go? So easy. I don't know if it'll go. I could I could glue it now while it's out here, and then before. Does it, it won't dry that quickly. I'm going to take it, <laughs> theoretically. Uh, before we do anything. Oh, before. What if? I like thinking ahead. Uh -huh. and just what if? Yeah. You, uh, you're going to put a different piece of, uh, piece of pine in here, larger, and here. Also. Oh, we talked about that, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Wanted. Let's just do it. We'll do it. We have to add a couple more pieces, eh? Okay, drill it. Nice. Times four. <laughs> double these so that we can get that way the cord won't get ca caught in there hopefully you need more uh two or three sure Throw it there sure dollar two three four wow burn them up <laughs> Able to make the easiest thing look hard. Dan, you want to do this? <laughs> Those are fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Perfect. Hey, give me a. Well, I wonder if that'll fit in. Well, uh, I'm going to use a different one on the other yeah. pipe. Weapon number two. Be right there. <laughs> yeah, on purpose. The sole purpose of this is to put the extension cord in so we can start rolling it. We got one that'll work. Cord. Here it goes. Oh yeah. There. So now we can start rolling it and away it will go. Love it. Okay. Time to glue this baby in. Okay. So no pressure, but this is, this is the big kahuna. We got the right end. Okay. I'm going to glue that and then we'll glue that as well. Hey. Going there. Oh, wait, somebody's turning it. Didn't you ever go to fire department lessons? <laughs> That's okay, I looked away. 
<laughs> okay, so. Did we decide we couldn't do it this way? Um, I think we're committed though. Let's, uh, you think it's in? Yeah. Would you want mine tapping that? I'm hold it. <laughs> want me to hold it? <laughs> Good, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Now, I think we were concerned we couldn't fit it in there once we did that. Right. Wait a minute, whoa. Oh, it's a piece of cake. Or, yeah. Woo! Not much there. Nothing back. Back in here. I'm, I'm catching the. Plywood? Okay. Yeah. The T111, I hope. That spun. I think I was in the mid in between them. How's that feel? Wow. Let's sc screw that up. Screw it up. And uh, and and we're gonna try a cord. Awesome. I feel like I'm shouting. I'm kind of excited. What? What are we doing? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we could have bought something cheaper, but it wouldn't have fit the mold that we needed it to fit. So we got this. We're going to do another one down here another day. We, how much time do we have in this? Three hours? Three or four hours times one and a half people. <laughs> okay, just kidding. Two and a half. Okay, so... We're going to put the cord in, and Dan, we have to figure out a handle still. We haven't got that done. We're going to see how this goes. Okay. So if, if it was just one person, that's kind of like what we're looking at. And it is one person. Oh, I could help. I All right. Help so if we have a handle, obviously that would crank much more easily. You feeling the burn yet? Not yet. <laughs> you know, there. it's really not that hard. Look. <laughs> wow. I want I do want to see just this is a 50 foot cord just to see how much wow. it's taking up. We might only need one. All right. Look at that. It's 50 feet. That's 50. That's, that's easy. So we have 300 footers and we've got three or four 50 footers. So I think between the two, we will have neatened up. Can you see over there? Let's see. So all these cords are no longer going to be here, just here. So Dan, you've had the pleasure of reeling it in. Do you want to pull it out just to, I, I, I sure so they can, do. I mean, there's got to be some satisfaction there. So yeah. we would pull up to the job site. Oh, we need a cord. Look at that. Pulls pretty easy. Let me feel what it's like to wind it. Don't don't all don't right, pull on it. All right, all right, all right. It's what? Here, pull on. Okay, I'm I'm a little impressed with how easily Dan did this. Are you pulling on that? No. <laughs> <laughs> so there we have it. I I really once we get a handle where it's easy to crank, that is going to be so yeah, nice. Right. It cleaned up that whole area. We moved the grade stakes. We may put them right directly behind here because we like the grade stakes close to the to the back of the trailer. They, they seem to be easier. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll finish uh, assembling the trailer, putting it back together, and get it out of here so we can shut the doors properly and everything. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, hit the like button, and tap the bell. Uh, I think a lot of people are not getting notifications. Thank you. See ya.